Hello, my name is John Browett and I'm the General Manager of the CC-Link Partner Association in Europe. What I have for you here today is a short presentation which explains how time-sensitive networking, TSN, delivers benefits to industrial automation. We're going to start out by um, giving you a quick background about TSN in industrial automation. Then we're going to move on to talking about what some of the key benefits TSN can deliver are. Then we're going to take a look about how these benefits have been realized in the real world with some case studies. So let's uh, just talk quickly about the background. So TSN in industrial automation has been around since the end of 2018 when the CC-Link Partner Association introduced CC-Link IE TSN, which is currently the first and only open industrial ethernet that combines time-sensitive networking with gigabit bandwidth. The first product started appearing about one year after that, and we saw a very significant uptake in Asia. And as a result, now there's over 50 end users across a variety of different industries who are using TSN in their operations. These range from things like automotive industry applications to consumer electronics and so on. A final key point is something called TIACC, which is the TSM Industrial Automation Conformance Collaboration. And what that is, is a cross-industry association which includes the CLPA, and it's intended to make sure that TSN devices in automation conform to the IEC 60802 standards. So basically, what we can see here right now is that TSN is here and now, and you don't need to wait to do implementations. What kind of solutions can be built? Well, as you can see here, there's a very comprehensive solution available. Many different products are available that support TSN. And basically, if you're looking to build a machine or system right now that uses TSN, there's a wide variety of different solutions available. So let's talk a little bit about the key benefits that are delivered by TSN. So the most important one is the fact that it allows you to have converged network architectures. And we'll talk a little bit more about what that is in a moment. But what arises from that are the key benefits of having better integration between your operational technology area of your operations, so basically your shop floor, your IT systems that manage and, and run those operations. You also get improved process optimization because you have a greater degree of transparency as to what your processes are doing. This leads to higher productivity. And then finally, the industry is moving very clearly towards gigabit infrastructure now, and TSN helps to support that. So let's talk a little bit more about what a converged network architecture is. In the past, it was common to have different kinds of network in a machine or system doing different things. So that made things more complex, more expensive, and more difficult to maintain. So a step forward from that was how we can combine different kinds of automation traffic together on one network. But now with TSN, we can take that one step further and we can also combine other types of Ethernet traffic together on the same network too. Not only that, but now we can also have the opportunity to combine different kinds of industrial Ethernet protocols on the same network. So it, it gives you a very large increase in cost savings, improving simplicity of the systems and so on. And finally, it also helps to converge the IT and OT levels together in a better way. And we have a nice little animation here which shows you how these different networks combine together onto one network. So let's take a look at how this could work in real life. So let's take the example of a packaging machine. So as you can see here, we have a network that has a variety of different devices connected together. And what you're seeing here is that you've got the red number devices, which are maybe just normal IT type devices. So like, for example, in this case, a barcode reader, a machine vision system, a PC, and so on. But then you have the actual automation devices, which are numbered in blue, and they are the ones which are actually running the machine. So you have like PLCs, servos, drives, IO, and so on. But what you're seeing here is that TSN is allowing the traffic from all these different devices to be combined together on the same network architecture. And not only that, even though the bandwidth utilization may be varying over time, these devices can all communicate together and they don't interfere with each other because of the mechanisms that TSM provides. 
We can take that one step further and we can also show how not only does it work inside machines on the shop floor, but it also allows us to get that data in those machines out of them and to higher level systems in an easier way. So this diagram is showing in the bottom right, the white outline is representing a machine with the different devices inside it, as we saw on the last slide. But then as you can see, we can now network those machines together. And because the data is all converged into one stream, it's easier to now take that and bring it to higher level IT systems through things like edge servers, where that data can be processed, actionable insights can be gained, and that can be fed back into the processes to optimize them. So we get better transparency and better optimization. Well, let's take a look at some real world examples of how TSN is being used. So our first case study is with the ITEI in China, which is the Instrumentation Technology and Economy Institute. And basically what this is, is an organization which has been set up to promote best practices in manufacturing. And TSN is forming a key part of that. So what you see here is um, a demonstration application which has been set up to manufacture souvenir picture frames for the visitors to the facility. But rather than it just being a simple tabletop demo, this is a full-blown manufacturing system to demonstrate these technologies. So as you can see here, we have machine tools, we have robotic assembly cells, we have automated warehousing and an MES system that supervises everything. But the key point for us is how the networks evolved over time. So you can see here that in the beginning, there was a fairly complex network architecture, which meant that there was a high degree of complexity and a lack of transparency. So over time, that was upgraded and now what you have is a single CC-Link IE TSN network architecture where although this diagram still looks a little complex, it's clear to see by looking at the orange lines that everything is together on the same network. So we have a conversion network architecture which is providing a common means of communication between all the devices no matter what kind of traffic they are providing and using. What this meant was that not only do we simplify things, but we got the better process transparency we talked about earlier. We also got a higher degree of productivity and also we got better integration between the OT and IT systems. So moving on to our next case study, this is from a company in Japan called Shashin Kagaku and they make additive manufacturing systems. And what you see here is, is what some people would call a 3D printer. So this is a system that takes ceramic powder and uses a laser to form the finished parts. But as part of that, you also have a very high precision motion control system involved, which is necessary to get the very high degree of precision and detail which are required for these parts. How CC-Link IE TSN delivered benefits in this application was that it allowed the, all the machine elements to be combined together on a single network architecture. So as you can see here in the system configuration, there was multiple types of motion axes but these were combined together with all the other elements of the system on the same network without compromising performance. So not only do you have a high degree of motion control performance, but you also have things like system IO, the operation of the laser itself, and so on, all together on the same network. So in turn, that meant that it was easier to build the machines because there was simplified wiring inside them. The construction time was reduced, the time to market was improved, and in the end, it resulted in a more competitive product. Not only that, but because this is using CC-Link IE TSN, which employs gigabit bandwidth, it meant that the performance of the system was about 10 times faster than previous model. A very significant improvement in performance and therefore a much more attractive product. Our next case study is from Taiwan, and this is with a company called Orisol. And Orisol are a leading manufacturer of systems for footwear manufacturing. And in this case, this is a machine which allows you to bond the uppers and soles of a shoe together. And um, again, this is a, a pretty critical application to make sure that works properly. So by using CC-Link IE TSN, what Orisol was able to do was to be able to combine all the different elements of their systems together on one network. So this is between machines, between machines and associated systems, but also between machines and higher level supervisory systems. This was all integrated together on one converged network architecture. 
Not only that, but because gigabit bandwidth has been used, it meant they were able to get about 220 times faster communication speed than they had on previous systems. Incredibly significant improvement in performance. And what this translated to in the end was the process execution time was reduced seven times, so much faster cycle times. And in the end, that led to a 12 times overall application speed increase. We can also take a quick look at how Orisol's system looks. So here you can see there's three key elements in this diagram. You've got the yellow items, which is showing how CC-Link IETSN is used to allow the machines to communicate with other parts of the manufacturing system. You've got the red parts, which is showing how the machines are communicating with each other to synchronize processes to a very high degree of accuracy. And then finally, you have the green parts, which is showing how the data from the process is being shared with the higher level systems, which are able to make sure that the process is running in the correct way and maintenance can be taken place remotely if necessary. Our final case study is lithium ion battery manufacturing. This is an application from China. The key things to consider here are how critical manufacturing a lithium ion battery is from motion control point of view. So basically the key parts of the process are taking film, coating it with electrolyte materials and then winding that up into a finished cell. So it's very critical to have highly accurate motion control processes that make sure the electrolyte coating is handled in the correct way and the cells are wound up into a finished product in the correct way. If this isn't done properly, the cell won't work and it won't meet the necessary levels of quality. So basically, CC-Link IETSM was used here to take this very critical motion control application but then also combine it with a variety of other machine control tasks such as safety control and general I.O. control. And because TSN's been used, we can combine all this traffic together and everything operates correctly and there's no compromises in performance. Not only that, the option exists for the future to get this data out of the machine more easily and to connect it with things like AI-based maintenance systems where further process optimization can happen. So hopefully that's given you an idea about why TSN is a key technology for the future of industrial automation. So just to review the benefits, the first one is we have simpler network architectures, therefore machine designs, reduced cost, easier maintenance, and so on. That also means we get better process transparency, so therefore we have better management of our processes. A better managed process is more productive. And then finally, it makes it easier to integrate OT and IT systems. And it's also key to remember that TSN also allows a better integration of gigabit bandwidth infrastructure in your application. So let's just finish with a quick review of who we are. So we're the CC-Link Partner Association, and so far we are the only open industrial ethernet association that offers an open gigabit ethernet that also includes time-sensitive networking. This is CC-Link, i.e. TSN. We'd encourage you to visit our website, read our materials, and learn more about what we do and what we can offer and how we can benefit your manufacturing processes. Thank you very much.